here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today, I have about seven killer Gary Moore-inspired licks, and I want to show you not just the licks, but the concepts behind them, right? That's really, really important, because this way you could take these licks and learn from them and apply, you know, the concepts and the devices that Gary Moore used and employed, and then put your own spin on them and add them to your own playing and it helps you develop your own voice, right? That we could all be inspired by the incredible playing of Gary Moore. And he just had this amazing ability to go from these incredible melodic kind of vocal-like lines combined into this searing, fast flurry of notes, right? In this rock and blues rock style. For this lesson, we're in the key of A minor. We're playing over a jam track. The jam track is in six, and uh, the chords are basically all the chords in the key of A minor. Um, I wanted just to produce a fun jam track that's kind of in the style. So a bunch of licks and concepts in the style will break it up between the slower melodic stuff and then the faster, kind of more flurry of notes kind of thing. So basically pulling from this A natural minor scale. <laughs> Here's something along the lines of that soaring vocal line kind of playing. So what I'm doing there is I'm sliding up to the 14th fret on the D string, but then I'm, he would slide up and then we're skipping a string, we're going to the B string. And we're beginning a whole step bend in there and bending that B up to the C. Then just backing it up a half step with vibrato, right? So you get that string skip, that, you know, that sound of a wide interval jump. And notice he kind of backs it up, back to the root note A. Then up a whole step, half step bend. He really loved those half step bends when playing diatonic scales. So he's really putting nuance into, you know, every note almost. Bend, vibrato, slide with vibrato, slide vibrato, vibrato, vibrato. Bend and vibrato, right? If so you, you could please do me a favor first and subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content. As well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons up. Leave a comment below. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see, what gear you'd like to see reviewed. If you like this lesson, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. And thank you so much for your support. A couple things real quick about overall about the Gary Moore style. He's famous, more famous for playing Les Paul guitars, although he, you know, he certainly played Strats too. Um, you might have seen videos of him playing that Fiesta Red Strat, but overall, more Les Paul. And a lot of times what he does too is he switches from the neck to the bridge pickup in the middle of a solo. And if you listen to his recordings, you could kind of hear when he's doing that. And I did it. If you listen or watch me on the intro, I switched uh, the second time around the progression for that more aggressive sound. So he would do that a lot. He's, his style, very, very aggressive, right? Real heavy vibrato, heavy bend and vibrato. Really aggressive style. He really liked using the minor pentatonic, minor pentatonic and blues scales. And then he also would like, like uh, the diatonic scales, like natural minor scales also. And in this progression, I was using uh, minor pentatonic and blues and natural minor, A natural minor, A aeolian mode. So here's a fast lick that he would use uh, in this style. It's a good one to start with. It's right in that A minor pentatonic and blues basic box. Easy right. first. 
first, play 5-8. Then a hammer and pull, 5-8, pull to 5. And you want to get good at a move like that, because you'll hear licks like that in his style out, that device. Where he'll play, two pick, then pick, hammer, pull. Then you go up a string to the B string, eighth fret, and then back to the fifth fret on the high E. You want to get that up to speed. Because he would just take that right down the strings. But this lick, then eight to five on the B. Then a whole step aggressive bend on the G string. Hear that lick? That whole lick slow. And lots of bending vibrato. If you want to take that lick to the next step, so to speak, uh, he would do a lick like. Okay, so what he does there is it's a first a hammer, five to eight on the B string. And then you have that move. Again, you have that five to eight to pull the five hammer. On the high E, then eight on the B, five on the high E. Back to the eighth fret B. And then five, eight, five again on the B. And then grab the eighth fret on the G string. That's the blue note, right? So you get this. Right? You hear that blue note in there for color. Then back to the eighth fret to the blue note. And then five, seven, pull off five on the G. Seven, that's our root note on the D. Five, seven on the B. And then seven, you have that big bend. Slow. And then you slowly work up the speed. And if you want to see all the scales I've been talking about diagrammed on paper, I can help with that. Click on that link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you a killer rock blues soloing ebook. It has like 29 scales that I diagrammed out, soloing strategies, major and minor key, music theory. It's an awesome resource. And I'll pair it with a video lesson. I'll send you both for free. Video lesson on easy ways that you could spice up your soloing quick and fast and start to sound different as you develop your own style. Click on that link below. I'll send them both to you for free. Here's another like lick where he'll hammer multiple times and do pull-offs and he'll speed it up and keep repeating it fast. Sound like this. All right, so what he would do is slide up to the root note, for instance, it's A. And then you do one hammer pull. Uh, here we're going from the uh, eight to 10. Hammer pull and back to our root note, 10. And then you do it again, but this time you do it twice. So eight, 10, pull off, right? So you do it once and twice. And you work up that speed. And then you can take that and just kind of move it up to the next position. Right, same exact concept, same exact device. So you do it once, the hammer pull, twice. speed. Here's a lick out of A natural minor. He would do these fast descending runs, right? For instance, this time let's use this A natural minor scale off the root note, low E string, fifth fret. Okay, so I'm just kind of, again, you have that same kind of device we did earlier, where you pick the two notes, five, seven, going to that ninth on the high E string, and then hammer pull, and then we kind of backtrack, eight five, and then straight descending down the scale, uh, eight, six, five, with a pull off, hammer pull off, five, six. And then the same thing, kind of doing the same thing on each string, four, five, hammer pull. And back up to that bend. Here it is slow. Right? So you're kind of playing the notes and then backtracking. Descending notes, backtracking. Right? Working 
ending up into a nice big bend. And this is a longer run where I incorporate some palm muting, and Gary Moore did that too in his playing. Sometimes he would mix it up, change up the sound, and add in some palm muting. This lick sounds like... Right, so what I did there is right down the scale, and then I did that same device, right, where I'm kind of backtracking, and then right up the scale again. Then right up the scale, then to the next string, hammer and pull, backtracking again, slow. Get up to that G, I'm bending that up to the A. So that whole lick slow. Land in vibrato and then you just speed it up. And you could do these, you could do these with any scale where you could just be ascending or descending. That one we ascended, the lick before we descended, where you're backtracking hammer pulls into a big bend, full step or melt those half step bends, right? I hope you find this style inspiring and you can pull some things from this and add it to your own playing and enjoy and be inspired by the ferocious guitar playing of Mr. Gary Moore. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, right? That really helps us to keep bringing the content and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons out. Also, click on that link below and I'll send you that killer blues rock ebook. My biggest one I've ever written, packed with scale diagrams, soloing strategies, exercises, major minor key lessons. It's awesome. That and a video lesson on spicing up your solo. Easy ways to do that. Send them both to you for free. Click on that link below. And if you got a second, I just dropped a new record with my band Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego, California. I think it's a slamming record. A lot of real aggressive lead type stuff, which I'm really stoked about. I would love for you to hear it. Um, I'll put links in the YouTube description box below. It's streaming on all the major platforms as well as you can get a digital copy. You can get it on CD. Would love for you to check it out, and then certainly if you have any questions, let me know, and I'd really appreciate your feedback and love to hear from you. Stay tuned. i got tons more killer content and lessons coming up soon. Keep up all that hard work on that guitar. Keep having fun with it, and remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care, and rock on. Yeah.